Hi guys, in this video I'll explain you how to create a database in MongoDB and how to insert data into it. So I guess you have already installed a MongoDB in your system and you have IntelliJ IDEA and you have Mongo Explorer configured into it. So um, here this is the interface for IntelliJ IDEA. So what we'll do is we'll write the commands here. So before writing this you need to go to command prompt and you need to run mongo daemon that is mongod.exe and once it is running you need to come here and you need to run mongo and once it is connected and it is running you can write your commands over here so uh, what you need to do is you need to create a database over here so to create a database in mongod the command which we use is use and what are the name you want to give suppose i want to give sports so here it is what it does is if the name which you have given if it already exists so it what it will do it will switch to that, switch to that collection but if you have not created it what it will do it will create so use sports i guess it's very simple so and it's even easy to remember so if you have written use and whatever the name you have given here we call it as collection so collection will have like documents so now if your collection has been created you can insert data into it so what you need to remember is how to create a collection and for that we the command is use and then the collection name if the collection already exists it won't create it will just switch and if it does not exist it will create and it will switch to that collection so this is how you can create a collection and now suppose you want to see currently which database you are using so for that you need to write db that's it so here the name and uh, the name uh, like has appeared that is sports so we are currently using sports collection database so and suppose now you want to drop it so for that the command is even simpler you need to do db dot drop database so see it has given okay that means the data base has been dropped so and if you want to clear it up just right click and clear but i want that sports collection so again i'll create it so i guess this much you have understood and now suppose you want to insert data into it so you can simply you know uh, write your insert query and uh, so what i'll do i'll do db dot players dot insert so i guess now you're having a question which is we don't have a collection named players so how can you insert data into it actually mongodb is pretty smart so what it will do it will create a collection named players and it will insert data into it you don't need to separately create collection as players so i'll what i'll do is i'll just oh sorry db dot players dot insert so i have already written something so what i'll do i'll just copy and i'll paste it over here so see so the number of uh, records entered is one so look again what i have done is i've simply written db dot collection name dot insert query then round basis and under round basis in curly basis i have given the data so this dot dot uh, i guess i just copied that's why it has come otherwise you don't need to you know uh, put dot dot here so uh or no it will come whenever you put and uh, whenever you hit hit enter button and with the same query you want to continue this dots will come suppose if i'm writing db dot player suppose i want to enter one more data insert okay suppose i want to give name as robert then i want to give id okay so only two things i want to enter and the curly braces and the round braces and hit enter see records enter entered one so this is how you can insert data and if suppose you want to enter more number of data at once 
so you can even use arrays so you can enter arrays of data suppose if I go here and if I suppose I want to enter these two at a time so what I'll do I'll just copy I'll go here so db dot players dot insert round braces square braces and control V then uh, I need to close my square braces then round braces hit enter so yeah you can see number of records inserted is 2 now so this is how you can create an array of data what you need to do is you need to just put square braces extra square braces so now you have entered enough data suppose you want to see whatever data you have entered so what you can do is you can you know write a command and it's simple you can write db dot players dot find see all the data has come here and suppose I guess it's pretty you know uh, tough to read so what we can do is we can you know uh, make it even more readable for that we need to write db dot players dot find dot find dot actually this is the command pretty you need to add dot pretty and once you in and uh, hit enter button see now the data is in more readable format so this is how you can insert data and you can read it to insert you need to write db dot collection name dot insert and give the data into it and if you want to read it you need to do db dot collection name dot find and if you want to put it into more readable format you need to just add dot pretty after find so suppose now you want to see what are collections you have so you can write show collections uh, see we have only players because we have created only one collection that is players so suppose now you want to suppose you have a quotient you want to uh, you want to show only one candidates information you don't want to show all at once so for that also we have a query uh, players dot find one so this will show give you the data which you enter at first see it has given you okay so this is the way you can you know create data and insert uh, whatever the data you want to insert into it and the collection so see you in the next tutorial